Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm not even the main character anymore. Aluru broke free, and there is a Native American, or Native Polynesian, Australia. Alright, so the Social Democrat Party has formed. Alright. That's... I can't tell if it's a good thing or not. Jesus Christ, they're just taking the vote. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, that's probably for the best. Take the vote away from the intelligentsia. Uh, they've been kind of more of a vehicle, a means to an end. You know? Alright. Yeah, I'm pushing quite a lot of construction, though. And it shows. Because it's uh, tough to get everyone who should be employed, employed. Alright. We'll join the Liberal Party, sure. You guys just aren't participating in democracy. Alright, and there's socialism. The world will be free one day. The world will be free one day. All right. We. <laughs> All right. You may leave. Yeah, the, uh, the specter haunting the world is not haunting us. We're doing fine, thank you. Yeah, crack down on the free trade party. Alright. Thirty percent on the trade unions, everyone. And the trade unionists, uh, like, a council republic, might just do it. Alright. That's only going to increase. I only just researched socialism after all, so... Alright, what, like... Honestly, I don't know. Tier 4 kind of feels like it falls off a lot for me. I don't know what else I really need. Like, electrical generation in theory helps, but I don't know. It never seems like it works out super well. Yeah, steam turbine. Let that run off of coal. Masters. I could do telephones. Or I could keep trying to push society tech along. Lord knows, if I could get mutual funds, that would be good. Alright. I actually kind of want to bail on wage subsidies unless it, um... Yeah, wage subsidies, I think I'm going to bail on here. Instead, with, uh... With the specter haunting the world, I think we can make our move. Extreme. It is a, a rather bitter irony here 
that the institutions of my own police and everything else will be the ones that uh, help socialism come forward. Now, on the note, seriously, let's rein in the construction spending a little bit here. Yeah, that's good. I'm down with the intelligence here getting a little weaker. All right. Yeah, we need some more government admin buildings here. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's going to be big, I think, with uh, the first checkpoint, you know? See, if that just happens, fuck me. <laughs> uh, see, that can sometimes just happen, and fuck you. Alright. I mean, so be it. Who cares about the armed forces? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta hope I can win a debate. The problem is the odds of a debate aren't exactly great in the first place. And it's now critical. So, it was a good try, but it's pretty clearly not going to work. This time. In the meantime, I'm going to aim to try and pass uh, Protected Speech and Guaranteed Liberties. You know, they, I feel like, are kind of the prerequisites that I need. Okay, we're getting there though with uh, with it. We're importing slaves too, which is good. I'm really just trying to max out my pop growth because I need people. Like the German Empire's GDP is stagnating and even outrightly declining, and mine continues to shoot up in like a concerningly straight line. Really, I'm gonna answer that question. God. Okay, graduated taxation. Wow. Yeah, plus 10. I mean, I'm obviously gonna have to go for proportional though. Yeah, the German Empire has 34 million people. It's tough. Get through some of the red tape. We'll be all right. Yeah. On the plus side, I'll get a little more tech spread from this as well. Yeah, it feels kind of shitty. Like, my upper class just isn't able to build anything really in me. I've got some friggin' building there, but yeah, overall my rich are not in reinvesting much in the country. So, it kind of falls to me to take care of it. Proportional taxation will help a lot. 
and shift some more of the tax burden onto, uh, you know, the upper class. Which should be another boost to my standard of living overall. I see. Who's that? Thomas Burt. A reformer. Mm-hmm. I'm keeping an eye out for any communists sent in exile, especially if they happen to be like a member of the intelligentsia. That would be huge for me. And diplomatic packs. The fucking Germans. And we got freedom of thought completed. Yeah, more science output. Let's do feminism. Alright. Pragmatism, maybe. Every desire is reduced, yeah. Identification documents would be good as well for what I'm currently trying to do. Alright. Yeah, we'll go on to proportional taxation. That'll give me plus 52,000. That should be enough to handle all of our remaining issues. Yeah, 71 million. 105 million. Yeah, like, their population's also kind of in decline. And their GDP just keeps falling. Mm-hmm. In a sense, it's a terrifying reality for them that I am unstoppable in my rise. Which is probably why they're worried. So incredibly worried about me. And just how uh, large I'm growing. Mm -hmm. Alright, we have a pretty good chance with this. That ought to seal the deal. Mm hmm. I think, anyway. It's there, yeah. Stall's below 20. Alright. Hmm. I assume I can't expel diplomats. And yeah, that needs to be higher. Yeah, teach them to speak proper language. It doesn't really affect the people in those events, which is doubly funny, but it will mean we assimilate more of the Germans. Which is a decent necessity. Alright. I mean, what does our culture map even look like at this point? North German, Boer. And still Zulu majority here. Still Tonga. Hmm. What incredible jerks. Um Yeah. That's unfortunate. I can't really afford that fight though. God. So, I don't know. Is there anything here that would actually be good? I'm not likely to have a ton of oil. That's kind of, I think, part of the part that I know and it hurts. Remember to their support. Alright. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, we are, uh, we are assimilating pretty hard. I gotta actually fight back a little harder against the Germans, though, in a weird way. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Things will never be the same again. That's a definite blow to the trade unions, although I think it's still probably fine. Yeah, it's a shame I didn't get the Council Republic through then, but... Eh, you want to join the Liberal Party, have it? No. Alright. I don't know, positivist isn't really going to be helpful, I don't think. Yeah, I hate anarchy. I hate... Yeah, okay, not a chance. Lost all. It's just a lot of back and forth here. But, like... We shouldn't be hitting 50% stalls, you know, there are 20 to 25% of them, but my luck lately seems like it has not been great, so you have to be certain. Yeah. Keep pushing. Institutions are getting stronger. Alright. Mm hmm. Hang on. Now this should actually be the first thing I build. I feel like I'm building so little. Yeah. There we are. We gained 5%. Minus 5% bureaucracy cost from population. Always good. Yeah. It's really just the institutions. It would be potentially quite a good idea for me to uh, move to, like, elected bureaucrats. North Italian mass migration again. That's uh, usually a lot of people. Ridiculous thing to say. No. Alright. Well. Alright. That's not a huge surprise. In the shattering here. No, fuck the agrarian party. Alright, the friggin' upper class just is not functionally running anymore. You guys are joining the Liberal Party, the Social Democratic Party. Yeah, I'd really prefer it if you didn't. Yeah, you got 65% of the votes last time. Ugh. Come on, we've got to get taxes through. Proportional taxation, baby. Come on. I'll take it. 79%. The stall is only 7% now, so... That's good. All right, our health system investment reached level four. Raising our state of living by another 0.5. Attracting even more immigrants. Despite the 73,000 unemployed. 
Ah yes, there is not enough available employment. Why are you suddenly doing so terribly? There's not enough steel consumption. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm sure that won't cripple my economy. But yeah, with uh, with that in play, we're in a little bit better of a spot. Let's push all the way for women's suffrage now. Or at least try to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 10% extra workforce ratio from that. Like, we're getting a lot more workers, and that increases our standard of living. We are right behind the Netherlands. Alright, we're getting our interest a little under control now. GDP continues to climb. Whilst Germany's is just in fucking freefall. <laughs> oh, man. Germany's GDP is just in free fall. And we're growing. Except for the setback, damn. Yeah, we do have a 40% stall chance, so. Mm hmm. Alright. Yeah, change, of course. A famous cafe. Uh, no. The Zuland Insurrection. Yeah, diffuse tensions. Let's go. Identification documents unlocked. Drive some benefit. Alright. Yeah, so that didn't quite go. Alright, we may have to push again on uh, trying to get a council or republic formed. We'll see. For now, I'm just trying to pay off all this debt I accumulated. Yeah, the investment pool is one million strong. Mm-hmm. Alright. Relative prestige is apparently 4.7x. Alright, we're not as so bad anymore. Yeah, that's just, it is legitimately just from how much of their of our gross domestic product is actually owned by them. Like, that's terrible. For five years, honestly, yeah. We may not get this through, but 10% stronger is good. An outright council republic movement might help a lot, actually. Yeah. Start your movement. And then, yeah, we're looking at a 46% chance to succeed.
It happens. I've got an opportunity. I'm going to try, though. Yep. The industrialists and the petit bourgeois are angry, but there's little they'll be able to do about it. Alright. So yeah, I totally forgot to continue research. What else do I need? Let's see, there's anarchism. Don't really need that. Three remaining T3 society text. Honestly, it might just be worth it for me to start the military. We know where this is heading. Forty-six percent chance of success. Decline. They only have a twenty-eight percent chance of a stall here, so this is pretty good. All right. Well, yeah. Let them go. They're harmless. All right. Yeah, if I can nationalize everything those friggin' Germans own. And just bring that money home. Because, like, so much is flowing out of me in dividends and everything, right? And it will basically also let me head directly towards breaking free. <laughs> nice. Infamy. You know, them saying no is fine. <laughs> Increased autonomy denied. Yeah. And we're back up to a protectorate. Triple the industrialists. Nice, another 7%. Every little bit to uh, beat back that stall chance. Mm -hmm. Alright, so plus 150,000. Uh, that helps a lot. Yep. So nice not having to pay Germany all that fucking money. Alright. Steel frame buildings, let's go. Let's -a go. Alright, so yeah, we can do cooperative ownership. Theoretically, also command economy, but. We'll see. Vandedness. No, well, their bedfellows might not be so accommodating. Alright, we got a success. Alright. Ouch, that's a hell of a lot, actually. So be it. Really doesn't matter to me. Both are enemies of the state. Shit, an anarchist. Nice. 
Alright. Polish mess. Are there any friggin' poles left in Krakow? Like, I can't think there are that many. Because they've hit so many of these damned... Uh, Infernal machine. Eh. Uh-oh. Hmm. It looks like I may have to fight. Because they have now united. Gag the ringleaders. I'm trying to think if there's any way I can push it away, but I don't think there is. I think it's going to be a revolution. I'd really prefer you to not be a pillager. Accidental good press for the German Empire. Let's mobilize. Alright, so it looks like just VR stats trying to break free. put the brakes on the engines of progress, even though we want to. Alright. Let's maybe get like five construction sectors in Zululand. Like five more of these. Bunch more of those. Oh, yeah. All right. Out of everything, he got exiled. Bastard. Oh well. I mean, it's pretty much over. God. Glad to see those standard livings dropped a little bit. Yeah, I didn't want to have to fight this war, but honestly, as far as revolts go when facing down Council Republic, this is a pretty tame one, you know? It can usually be a lot worse. Council Republic is actually one of the few laws where I just, if I'm going to try and pass it, I'm going to accept that I might have to fight. I'm usually pretty chill. But, like, just, it's usually such incredible opposition that you will almost never... Be able to pass it without repercussion, you know. Uh, 
Alright, let's get the construction sectors going. Yeah. It's ironic that uh, the Germans would help me put down the communists, though. Military statistics. Actually, why do I have wargaming selected? I mean, I know, you know, training method streamlining's okay, but realistically, the one I want is siege artillery. If I roll that out, we'll see. No, the Germans are also maintaining a pretty big army. They have trench. Shrapnel. Alright. Yeah. So. That's not too bad. Uh, 172,000. <coughs> oh, pardon me. And also 48,000 unemployed here. Just, just even threatening to build more steel mills nearly crashed the steel mills. Yeah, it's kind of terrifying just how much coal I'm able to go through. Friggin' 70 levels of the coal mine. Oh, South German migration from Austria. Was that Jesus? Well, we now have Council Republic. All right. Who's going to stop me? Yeah. Next, this law may cause countries without a similar form of economic system to become aggressive to us. Oh, I am aware. Oh, I am aware. All right. That ought to do her, though. Yeah. It's kind of annoying that I actually have uh, homesteading, though. I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, I can get collectivized out of culture. All right. So with that in mind, thank you everyone for watching. I've been your Leo's Kielden, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, folks. Have a good night.